Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will tell you the stories of Salazar Slytherin and Godric Gryffindor. I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel before I go to the video. The brave Gryffindor from the Wild Steppe lived in Godric's Hollow, the future home of many well-known Harry Potter characters, from Bathilda Bagshot to the Potters themselves. Like Gryffindor, the Hogwarts house he founded, Godric was known for his bravery and an accomplished duelist. He even had a special sword created for him by Ragnik I, the best of the goblin silversmiths. The sword was, egg-sized ruby, to, shimmering silver. The sword was so beautiful that Ragnik tried to get it back, accusing Godric of stealing it. Fortunately, Godric was not one to be taken lightly, and he eventually took back what was his from the goblin community. However, that didn't stop the goblins from creating a false myth about the Gryffindor theft. Legend has it that Godric was also the man who gave Hogwarts the sorting hat. The hat contains the intelligence of all the founders so that he can impart his intuition to every Hogwarts student forever. Godric will always be known for his good skills in battle and his fight against muggle discrimination in the wizarding world. In fact, it was a serious argument between Godric and Salazar that eventually caused the Slytherin founder to leave Hogwarts. Godric was definitely a man ahead of his time. For many years, all went well between the four founders. But when the shrewd Salazar Slytherin suggested that only those from Fen, from magical families deserved to come to Hogwarts, his three friends turned against him. Salazar Slytherin dropped out of school. But before he could do that, he built a secret room inside the castle with a large statue of himself and a monster that only he could control. The room would remain a mystery until Salazar Slytherin's heir was ready to go to Hogwarts to finish off his ancestors. Slytherin also left behind a gold coin that would become a valuable family heirloom, and eventually a horcrux of Lord Voldemort. Despite his flaws, Salazar was a gifted wizard skilled in legitimacy and parcel tongue, and his twisted legacy and talents have lived on through many members of his lineage, particularly Lord Voldemort. Fortunately, his hostile nature towards Muggleborns was something that most of the wizarding community did not accept. And not all of Salazar's legacy was bad. His very distant grandson, Isolt Sayer, would go on to find the Ilvermorny school, and Salazar's staff would eventually be buried on the school grounds turning into a snake tree with leaves with restorative powers. For the video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and like the video.